Hey everybody, Jay Haskamp with Frontier Precision here, uh, coming to you today from a nice air-conditioned uh, camper. It's a little bit, a little bit hot out there today, so this is a good spot to uh, to set up shop. But what I want to do today is I want to go through and show everybody the process of how we can interface um, radio detection cable and pipe locators uh, with Trimble Access. So. Um, yes. This would be something like an 8100, uh, 8200, 8100 marker locator, whatever. There's different ways we can configure things to get everything to work. Um, so what we're going to do today is use our 8100, uh, I believe it's a PDLM, it's a marker locator. That's uh, just what I have on hand. And we're going to show you how if we set up a feature code library properly, we can interface with that, with that cable and pipe locator and we can pull in things like the current, the phase, um, the frequency, but more importantly, we can also pull in the depth. And what we'll show you is what I can do is basically locate a line, read the depth off of the locator. Through Bluetooth, it'll push that depth over to Trimble Access, which you'll see. And then when we take a ground shot over the located mark on the ground, we'll not only get a ground shot uh, from the GPS, but it'll subtract the depth from the locator and then give us a, uh, a point underground um, at the utility location. So if we set up our library properly and we use line control codes and things like that, we basically will end up getting um, ground shots but then also 3D line work underground at the utility, you know, plus or minus the accuracy of, of the depth reading um, from the locator, but it gives us a really good idea of, of what, we've, what we've got going on. So the scenario we got going on today, I'm going to go through outside with you, is uh, there's a new house being built here, and the electrician's coming in a week and a half or a week, and we're going to run um, a new power line from where the new meter and everything's going over to um, the hookup for some existing buildings, so the whole place can get powered up um, because we're pulling the old the old uh, pole and everything out. So what we need to do is we need to run this line in underground for power. Um, but we have to cross the fiber line and we have to also um, not as big of a deal because it's it's going to be you know seven eight feet deep because we're in minnesota but we got to cross the uh, the well line for the water too so what i'm going to do is most importantly i'm going to locate the fiber optic line um, for the electrician so we'll get it marked up nice for him and then roughly in the area where he's going to be crossing obviously he's going to hand dig that in but we'll give him an idea you know what of what the depth is too and we'll we'll just push this all in trimble access we'll bring it back in here in the air conditioning and we'll uh, download into TBC and make a nice little map and uh, show everybody what it looks like okay here's our site um, you can see a bunch of trees taken down some house corners and stuff in over here is the fiber pit right here and I got my stuff setting out here this is what we're gonna hook to and then there's a line that runs up this driveway and down around through this way. And as we make our way to the back here, you can see off into the woods, there's a couple stakes. That's where our uh, wall's gonna go with the meter and everything. And then we're gonna run a line through here and up this way. And basically, Got to figure out where this fiber lies in here. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so here I've got my, uh, I think it's a, uh, we got TX10V transmitter. I'm going to use the, uh, the clamp because this particular ped is not grounded. So I can't direct connect here. I could probably go down the driveway and across the road and direct connect there. But since I've got just such a small area, um, I'm just gonna use the clamp um, and I should be able to get what I need here. So, clamped in the pad, gonna go around here to my transmitter, turn it on, and I'm set up already. You can see I'm running 33 kilohertz. You see the clamp is detected and for about 20 cent power. So yeah, we should be good to go on the transmitter side and now we'll fire up uh, Trimble Access and we will get the uh, 8100 cooking and we'll get locating. All right, so I'm gonna get started here. Um, what I've got 
is just an R12i carbon fiber pole. Today I'm using the TDC 600 um, just because it's nice and lightweight. Got my 8100 PDLM here. Uh, first thing I want to do is just run through the project setup. So I'm just using a local county site here. Um, I do have a layer manager. I just basically have a, a background map here. That's all that is. The main thing here is I have my feature code library, WP Utilities. Um, this is just a library I set up that will run the line workout and also collect the depth information for the fiber line. And so nothing too fancy here. Um, I'm gonna open my job and here's where we are working in this area. And I'm gonna turn on my locator here and I'm set to 33 uh, kilohertz. And um, we'll see if we can pick up our line here. I know it's about here. Looking like we're getting it right there. And we're reading a depth. So um, I'm gonna show you real quick. I'm gonna grab the camera, show you what it looks like on here, um, what the depth looks like. And then you'll see um, how this is pushed to uh, the Trimble access. All right, so you can see here, um, I got good signal and I'm right over the line, right about there. And then you can see I'm, I'm getting a depth reading. Okay, so definitely seeing the line. You can see as I go off the line back and forth, gives me my direction of not only my line on the little compass, but also my uh, arrows as to where the line is. And then I can set it on the ground Kind of dial it in a little bit if I want, get it settled, and then you can see I've got a depth. Now all I really have to do to push my depth is I have this all set up as I just have to hit this uh, send button here, and it'll send the depth over to my controller, and you'll see what that looks like. So from the utility uh, locator standpoint, the RD8100 or 8200, the screen's gonna look basically the same. Uh, but you can see again from the utility locator standpoint, pretty easy, just find the line. I'm not going to go through all the different modes. I just want to show how this works with the axis. So, got our line, got our depth, bingo. So I'm going to hit measure here, and we are going to start at, say, 0.100. And then my code for my fiber line is UGFO. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the S code to start a line um, behind it. Okay. And now, slide this over here. Oops. There we go. And now what you'll see is, I'm going to switch this to rapid point too. So now what you see is that um, I have my standard measure form, but now there's a depth field. So that's having that attribute set up um, for that fiber optic code to read a depth. And then having the utility locator um, not only set in the, in the settings, but also Bluetooth in and everything. So Trimble Access knows now when using that particular code, um, to look for a depth from my utility locator. We're gonna head over here to the fiber pad and we're gonna find our line here. Might be a little too close. Let's go this way a little bit. Telling me that it's right there push the button to send the depth the trimble access see that it populates 3.445 little mark on the ground all right and then now we'll take our measurement okay now i'm going to go down a little ways back through grab our line go up there and then here depth of scent take our measurement Point stored.
but now we're gonna come back and go the other way. So I'm gonna move the camera here, kind of just shuffling things around, moving cameras and whatever, but we're gonna head back and go the other direction and then get this line mapped out. So as you can see, it's not too bad. Um, once you have everything set up right, um, the, the depths come in uh, pretty easy. Um, again, you know, you critique my skills here. I'm not a locator, um, but I can get a line and I can get it into access. What's really nice is if you're, say, a Sioux company or something like that, when you have a surveyor and you have a locator, I used to work for a Sioux company. I was a, I was a surveyor for them. So we had guys surveying and guys locating. Is if you work in tandem with a locator, and they could be located and sending the depths. You can be measuring the points right after they go and make two-man crew pretty pretty easy work of it. One-man crew is still not bad though. Um, still just carrying two pieces of equipment, working together, and I'll give you a little overview if you can see where our line is at here. Kind of see, going down that way, coming through here to our pedding down. So now we know where the fiber line is, have some approximate depths, nothing too crazy, but all we need for for what we're doing just to run a line um, but yeah all right so here we are uh, the data has been collected I just kind of wanted to show how the, the the fiber line that we collected now goes into Trimble Business Center um, and how we can kind of see how this line work works so here's here's the same uh, the project you've seen in some of the screen snaps previously um, <clears throat> just kind of wanted to show how this all uh, fits together so I just have an aerial that I I always like to throw aerials on the back of my projects and then we have a couple surface models here. We have an existing um, ground surface model, and then we've got a grading model um, for this pad. So just to kind of show you in 3D view, um, you can see the the uh, outline there, and then our model and how everything's tied together. So this is the uh, the existing ground here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to grab my uh, I have a JXL of my file and just my FXL. This will probably come in automatically. I just have um, I just always grab both just to just to be safe, but simple drag and drop. And the data is now um, imported into my project. So here's the measurements I've taken. And you can see now if I go to my 3D view, this is where having that, um, that depth attribute applied to your points, it's pulling the um, depth from the locator. So we're getting our measurement on the ground and then it puts the uh, the GND behind it. We can configure this if it's a prefix or a suffix or a number, or whatever. We can we can change those settings in our in our um, in Trimble Access, I believe, in our service style. But it'll also then, based on that depth from the utility locator, um, drop that down to the depth um, underground. So you can see here, our points are hitting our ground, and we have our lines underneath. So the next step is going to be to um, process feature codes. And to do that, simply go to our survey tab, hit process feature codes. Here's our locate um, JXL, process sources. And if I go into here, I'll just turn off my point IDs. There we go. And now you can see we have our fiber lines here. The ped is actually right here, so things will go in and go out. Um, let me just turn this off here. There we go. So you can see it a little bit better. There's our line, and then if we go to our 3D view, I'll turn my existing ground on. You can see where we have our line um, on the ground here. Again, the accuracy of these depths is going to be dependent on the quality of the, the reading from the locator. So I used a clamp here, um, which isn't going to give me as accurate of a depth as, say, a direct connect, um, but that's all stuff you just need to be aware of. But the main thing is, is we located the points on the ground, shot them with the GPS on the ground, and got our depths and our 3D line work on the ground. So that's the process. Um, I encourage you to give it a try. If you have any questions or comments, you know, reach out to us. We're happy to help. But um, yeah, integrating the RD uh, 8100, 8200, whatever, whatever you have with uh, Trimble Access 
3D line work underground for utilities. Um, pretty pretty easy workflow. Uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully uh, hopefully this was interesting and, and you found this helpful. And we'll see you on the next video.